what's up metal and heavy music fans it's flight of icarus again with metaltrenches.com and today i'm going to watch and review the latest music video from sirenia it's called addiction number no. nine and it's from their upcoming album riddles ruins and revelations via napalm records and hey if you like to be kept up to date with the best and brightest metal bands and albums from the underground and above then stick with me by hitting that subscribe button down below all right believe it or not this is my first time listening to sirenia and I want to turn a new leaf in 2021 and actually give more of these symphonic metal bands a chance. Because I've kind of always sort of put it off to the side. Not really my thing, but I, I, want, to, I want to expand my boundaries, so I'll give it a shot. See what the fuss is about. What we got? Poker game? <laughs> That's a weird choice. Okay, nice riff. Like those choral synths. I like that little hook there. Do, 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 do. Nice, nice, yeah. Kind of like a little cradle of filth vibe on that. Good voice. Okay. That seems like it should be the bare minimum, but I've heard some symphonic metal bands where the vocalist was like horribly off key, so. We've got a catchy little groovy main guitar hook. Yeah, she's got a really good voice. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but just all of a sudden, like, I started kind of forcing myself to listen to a little bit more of this style, and it's it's starting to click with me a little bit. I really like that little synth hook. That's like everything. Uh, 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 it's got that, like, pop songwriting mentality to it. Man, that... that 90s early 2000s just all in leather look for the whole band <laughs> leather pants that takes me back not the most original riff for sure but definitely infectious i do think it's kind of funny that she's standing in the same position like the whole video that like sideways stands <laughs> The other other side of her face, she turns and the other side of her face is like horribly burned. <laughs> Sorry, shouldn't be joking. Yeah, good stuff. This is gonna be stuck in my head for the rest of the day, I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. There's been some other big symphonic bands like Nightwish I've never gotten into. Got a couple commenters that are just begging me to do more like Nightwish and stuff. So I'll, I'll try. I'll try. I've just... They've never done it for me. Got a little bridge here. Who is that guy in the street? Looks like Buckethead. A little solo. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay. Who, um... For you Sirenia fans, or is it Sirenia, um, who plays the synth? Because they're not in the video, and I'm just curious about that. Or is that more of a post-production thing? Nice solo. Good, good. Always happy to see when these kind of more simplistic songs throw in the solo just to sort of prove like hey we, we do know how to play we just we wrote the song this is this way this is what we wanted <laughs> oh, snap go and jump yeah man it's gonna be stuck in my head all week i can't get over that this guy looks like buckethead <laughs> okay it's just it's like a homeless lady or hipster or homeless she looks awfully clean for a homeless person, honestly. Yeah, I have no idea what was happening in the storyline there, but song was song was really good. I'm I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, yeah, that was again Serenia with Addiction Number One, and yeah, turning to my scales for enjoyability, yeah, that's pretty high up there. I mean, I for me personally, you know, who's more into kind of the extreme side of metal. Or also things like metalcore and hardcore, things with harsher vocals, or at least a mix of the two. Give it, I'll give it a nine. Give it a solid nine. But I could see how people who are super into this would definitely give it a ten. Super catchy, 
good songwriting. And that brings us into musicianship. Uh, pretty solid as well. Like I said, not the most like original arrangement, kind of simplistic too, aside from like the solo, but compositionally very good. Again, like it gets under your skin and that's important. And there's something to be said about that. So I give it, uh, that's a tough one. I give it, I give it like an eight. I think it's fair um, for, for that realm. And then in terms of innovation, kind of just like a seven still in that area. Like I, I, I even, even with me being, relatively new to this genre i've heard enough of it to know that like this is what most of it sounds like there's no like surprise bells and whistles happening here that kind of step it up and elevate it to that next level but yeah so what do we what do we got like a nine eight seven so looking at like a a b minus for for me personally that's my subjective rating again for those who are much more into symphonic metal and nightwish and all that stuff I'm i'm sure this will rank much higher for them so now it's your turn let me know down in the comments. What did you think of this song? How would you rate it? How would you grade it? What uh, symphonic metal albums are you most looking forward to in 2021 that I should check out? And of course, stick around because I got plenty more videos coming right after this one. Not just these track reviews, but also full album reviews, tier lists, interviews with the bands on the podcast, you name it, we've got it. So again, plenty of reasons to subscribe if you have not already. But that'll do it for now. Flight of Icarus signing off. I'll see you in the trenches.